What's going on everybody, Pokeball here, and welcome to week number five of the MLPB season four. This week we face off against the PDX Pikachus in a Steam Siege triple blister battle. I am hoping the pools are in my favor. It would be nice going into week six with a three and one record. Right now we are sitting at two and one, both myself and the PDX Pikachus, but let's go ahead and go over how this works for those of you that are new to this series. This is a points system battle and the points are as follows. We have one point for a reverse holo rare, two points for a holo, three points for any EX, GX, or break cards, four points for any full arts, and five points for any secret rares. And as for competitive picks, we have a common at one point, uncommon at two points, a non holo rare at three, holo rares at four points, EX, GX, and break cards at five, full arts are six, and any secret rares are seven points. So there could be some huge scores in this battle. Best of luck to my opponent. Hopefully the pools are in my favor. But my competitive pick this week is going to be Dino, and it is card number 84 of 114. I'm hoping we can hit one of my competitive picks. I don't believe I've hit one yet. Let's go ahead and check this blister out. See what comes in it. Uh, it's been a while since I've opened a Steam Siege blister and they are not exactly readily available. Uh, they're becoming harder and harder to find. Even the Evolutions ones are becoming pretty scarce. We'll pull all these packs out. coin and get this card out there all right so the promo that comes in this is a requaza and it does have the galaxy foil it is xy number 141 pretty neat card 120 hp dual claw for a fire and colorless does 20 times damage you flip two coins and for each number of heads this attack does 20 more damage and then dragon blast 120 damage for a fire electric and two colorless discard one fire energy and one electric energy attached to this pokemon when you use the attack uh it is quite the attack but you have to feed it some energy and then we have a pretty sweet disco genesect coin very nice i don't i don't believe i have this and then our booster packs we have two xerneas and a volcanian so let's go ahead and get into these. Hopefully we can get some awesome pulls and come out with a win. It was nice having a week off, get myself refreshed, and then come into this week and hopefully just blow it out of the water. All right, so we start off with a Clink. That should have been my competitive pick because I always see it. A Joltik, Ponyard, Fungus, we have a Rufflet, Braviary, Armor Fossil Shield on, Nuzleaf, Litleo Reverse Hollow, and a Probo Pass, regular rare. Yeah, Clink and Probo Pass were gonna be my picks, but I figured Dino may may be worthwhile. We'll see. Two more packs to go and hoping for the best. Go ahead and take this code card. All right, so we start this pack off with an Apom, Mankey, Shellos, Krogunk, Tangela, Clang, we have a Claw Fossil, Anorith, Dewat, Rufflet Reverse Hollow, and a Spiritomb, regular rare. Oh boy, we may have our first skunk. Come on, Xerneas, give us some last pack magic. So we have a Mantine, Meowth, Larvesta, Fletchling, we have an Oshawott, so no competitive pick unless it's the reverse, Ninja Boy, Azumarill, Greedy Dice, Reverse Hollow Claw Fossil Anorith, wow I could have had quite a few points there, and a Nidoking regular rare, absolutely skunked, worst blister ever, zero points, nothing. So he could pull one card and that is game over. So I'm going to chop this up as a loss for this week. Hopefully hopefully he doesn't get anything and we go to a tie and 
and we we go from there but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to smash that like button subscribe for more and i will see you all in my next video